Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today uh, I'm going to explain how easy it is to create a bootable USB thumb drive or a pen drive using few uh, open source applications okay now these are the few applications that we need four of them to get us through okay the first one win to bootic uh, you can get it from win to bootic dot com uh, and that's the first one you'll get it in a zip file you just need to extract it and you'll have these two files now the first one is a text document don't bother about it we need this application win to bootic cool uh, then we need the media creation tool from Microsoft Corporation straight from uh, the company Microsoft okay so what you need to do is uh, again I'll leave the link in the description from where you actually can download this uh, but you just need to Google up media creation tool media space creation space tool search and uh, you'll see a link in fact the first link should be the Microsoft link get it from there again as I said I'll leave the link in the description this is the setup file I've not run the file yet of the IMG burn application go to file hippo H I double P O file hippo.com okay get it from there the latest version I'll tell you why we need this in a in a while again I'll leave the link in the description file hippo.com right and you need an ISO file okay uh, the ISO file that is highlighted right now is a 90-day trial straight from the Microsoft Soft's website um, it's Windows 8.1 enterprise version okay cool but uh, in case you have an original CD or a DVD you can create an ISO from it that's the first step you need to create an ISO insert the CD DVD run the setup of the IMG burn next few steps should be self-explanatory it will uh, give you an option to create an ISO or an image file an ISO file with then dot ISO extension we need a dot ISO okay let's assume you don't have the Windows original CD DVD with you and the method that I'm about to explain should work with Windows 7 uh, with Vista with 8 8.1 all of them right but I'm confining myself to Windows uh, Windows and Windows 8.1 Windows 8.1 only rather cool so let's assume you don't do not have the original Windows with you at all so step one uh, let's see how we can get the Windows ISO file run this 1.26 MB media creation tool double click run it Okay, uh, in the meanwhile, let me just uh, pull up my pen drive. Give me a sec. Where's my pen drive? Yeah, in the drawer. Got it. Let me just connect as well as it's taking time. Give me a sec. Uh, okay. Connected. Cool. Uh, where's that gone? In the background. Okay so once you yeah that's the removable disk the folder is empty cool don't scan empty right so uh, once you run the media creation tool it's asking you what kind of installation file do you want language select English GB or whatever Great Britain addition Windows 8.1 or whatever architecture 32 bit or 64 bit you decide depending on your machine uh, right and if you want to be absolutely sure go you know bring up this folder and where you see this PC right click and say properties and you can see my machine is a 64 bit operating system machine system type make sure that you select the right system type okay cool uh, and then architecture 32 or 64 bit as the case may be depending on your hardware say next okay now one very easy method is to make sure that you have connected at least 4 GB of a thumb drive or a pen drive and just say next 
like so. Uh, it's going to auto detect a removable drive. Mine is E, I know that for sure. Make sure that it's not selecting anything which is uh, not the right one. Okay, and say next again. I'm going to cancel this method simply because this uh, pushes in all the files uh, directly on the USB. So, which, you know, uh, this method ensures that the USB is connected all the time. And once, you know, all the files have been pushed into the, uh, on the USB drive, you can just click the finish button, which is gr grayed out, dulled out right now. Let me just cancel this method. Okay. Uh, let me run the uh, media creation tool uh, once again. I'll tell you why I'm actually doing that. So the first method was pretty easy. Just copies all the files that you need onto the USB and your USB is then a bootable uh, Windows 8.1 uh, thumb drive, pen drive, great. The second method is uh, if you don't want the you know, the media, the pen drive to be connected all the time, you don't want it to be written directly onto the pen drive. Let's see what is the alternative. So language again, English, addition again the same architecture the same say next okay you can choose to save it as an ISO file save the installation file call the ISO to your PC and then burn it or else don't burn it you need 4 GB of space you need a DVD burner of course but uh, in case you don't want to burn it and want to push it onto a DVD which is still you know onto a pen drive or a thumb drive which is still fine you'll get the ISO this way just say next Okay, this will save it on the hard disk of your system. Just just put it where you want to put it. For example, this PC downloads with the extension ISO. Okay, just save it, right? And again, the uh, finish button is actually dulled out, grayed out, disabled simply because it's not done. Once it's done, okay, depending on your internet speed, could take uh, from a couple of minutes to a few hours. So I'm canceling it because uh, I already have the ISO. Right, this is the ISO. So you can get the ISO this way. And once you have the ISO, I would want you to run a Win2 Bootic. You run, you need to use, uh, you know, use media creation tool only if you need the 90 day versions. If you have the, um, the full, you know, the CD, DVD, the original um, Windows OS, you don't need to uh, use media creation tool instead you need to use the IMG burn from filehippo.com and then use serve into bootic so let's assume that you download it onto the hard disk the ISO file something like this okay then we need to use win to bootic run win to bootic launch win to bootic one of the best applications um, with the best support, let me tell you that. So, automatically detected that the drive E is the 16 gigs, actually shows 15 gigs out here, but it's actually 16 gigs of pen drive thumb drive. Okay, so step one quick format hit the do it button. Okay, yes, absolutely sure. So it will not only format my pen drive, which is doing right now, it will also flash the boot loader. That's making it bootable. So that can take uh, that can take some time. Okay, depending on the size of your uh, <coughs> pen drive. Now, even before the formatting is over, let me tell you something. Once the formatting is over, and once the boot loader is actually flashed. Uh, it'll ask you to push in the ISO file. It'll extract the ISO file, push in the files. Okay, there'll be an option Windows to go. Do not check that option. To use that's only for the enterprise version, Windows Enterprise, Windows 8.1 or 8 enterprise version, and that's not the standard installation. Uh, that's a uh, that's a different installation with different options. Uh, just keep things simple. Do not select the Win to Go option. In which case, you'll need a min of minimum of 16 gigs. Recommended 32 gigs of uh, pen drive. Okay. Moreover, as I said, it's only for the enterprise version. It's a little different from the standard installation. So, for simplicity's sake, okay, it's flashing the uh, bootloader now. Flashing bootloader. You see the message out there. Thanks. Done. Okay. See. 
uh, I'm gonna drop in next is asking me to drop the source of so just click and point if I click I can just point to it or else I will rather I think I'll rather drop the ISO okay so what I'm gonna do is the ISO file drag and drop out here okay uh, I've dropped it there's an option make windows to go beta only for the enterprise version skip that it's not a standard installation so it's slightly different maybe even longer and you need a min of 16 gigs of pen drive recommended 32 we'll skip that option keep things simple don't use that option okay and just say do it right are you sure absolutely sure okay it's preparing your pen drive uh, this can take again some time mainly depends on your uh, hardware your computer hardware how fast it is it's gonna you know extract the ISO it's gonna push in many files many many files onto your uh, your pen drive thumb drive okay so and once you're actually done see it's creating folders say it's creating folders once you're actually done you are good to go so I may not wait for the whole process to get over just assume that uh, you know all the files have been written and there'll be an OK or a finish button whatever next uh, what you need to do is people just make go to the bias again um, different shortcut hotkeys for going to the bias on different computers uh, by different manufacturers you know some use mega trends by some use me bias you know you have different versions different ways of getting into the bias once you get into the bias make sure that you for the legacy bias you know the old bias for the old systems you can easily select the first uh, boot device as the USB thumb drive with pen drive. It's very easy. Save the information in the BIOS, reboot, and you should be able to boot through the USB pen drive, thumb drive. Okay. But for the newer systems, uh, we have we don't have the old legacy BIOS. We we say we have the UEFI systems, secure boot systems. That will not allow you to boot through uh, the pen drive. So you need to know how to disable the uh, secure boot system. So there are several topics on the internet so how to disable the UEFI secure boot system the secure boot systems you know if you bought a, a PC or a laptop with Windows 8 8.1 pre-installed or RT pre-installed uh, it'll it should be a secure boot system you will need to disable it so check on this go to Google check on how to disable uh, you know a UEFI secure boot system so it's it you know there are several websites that show you how to do it with uh, several screenshots so it's not at all difficult to do guys once you know how to do it okay and then once you are able once you uh, drop or disable the secure boot system secure boot system is to ensure that you do not put Linux or you know this is maybe Windows way of um, discouraging people to use Linux I suppose they, they, they say that uh, you know it's more for your security uh, but I, I, I have a feeling it's mainly to discourage Linux users cool so uh, once you disable the secure boot and once you boot through the USB setting it as the first bootable device in your bias okay uh, you should be able to install Windows 8.1 in our case or whichever Windows you're using and uh, in our example we are actually using 90 days try 90 days is a is a good period right three months that's a good period good enough to decide whether you actually want that operating system then you can obviously buy a license you can take the activation code uh, later on once you decide that you have loved the product all right so people uh, it's just uh, eight percent done okay. um, it can take some uh, some time but in the end you know I'm just gonna you just gonna pop me a thank you or a finish or okay whatever and I should be uh, good to go but I'm actually skipping that step and terminating the tutorial out here I hope you found uh, the methods stated out here, out here very easy I'm gonna leave a link in the description from where to actually get uh, media creation tool winter bootic uh, I am cheap burn although I said that verbally verbatim but just to avoid spelling mistakes and uh, make sure that you have the right URL I'm gonna leave the links in the description so people uh, please share like uh, subscribe if you already haven't you have a good day bye bye
Peace.